just going to go through with uh, sector rubrics, how to go about creating a rubric from scratch. Uh, this particular exercise, I haven't um, got a rubric that I can uh, draw from the library, so I'm going to have to create it from the beginning. So a couple of things when um, using a rubric, um, make sure that you, especially for lower school or upper school, that you're actually matching it to some form uh, regulated by the SCARSA curriculum. So this is a year eight type project. Uh, and what I've done through is just go and check through that uh, the assessment pointers are being covered. In this particular case, uh, this one is a, a problem solving exercise. So it's around the area of design, but it's to do with solving a problem solving activity. And also what I'm gonna be looking at is this collaboration uh, assessment pointer as well. So that's where I'm going to be drawing them. And that's sort of where I'm going to bring my um, assessment pointers to using A, B, C, D uh, within the rubric. So I'm getting SCARSA to do some of the work for me. So first thing I do is I could say explanatory so that the statements I have um, highlight what I'm going to do. But in this case, I'm going to go for numeratic. So there's my first uh, line. And in this case, using the principle of what I talked about before, um, this one is designing. So where I was getting that from is, again, from the assessment pointer, the assessment pointer here, uh, designing. So it comes under that heading there of designing or technologies. In this case, it's designing. And I might use this sub assessment pointer here. Designing, um, and at the moment I'm not going to worry about weights or anything here, I'm just going to add these statements, but again um, I'm not going to just add in this case um, five statements, um, I'm going to add nine statements, so to account I still need one value to account for no submission. One, Note too, it's a bit of a nuisance, but it comes through with different values as attached to each one. But in this case, I'm simply going to go for the A grade concept or uh, statement, control C, uh, add that straight out of SCARSA, and I'm going to copy and uh, do the same thing there twice. So B, then my second statement of B, this is a B type statement, control C. Uh, and then my C type statement, I'm going to add here. And then finally, my D type statement. So that way, in this case, I've, I've got a bit of a range happening. And my last one. Is together using zero, one, and see that my B statement here. There's three values there, but this is the easiest way of doing it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got my range there. I've got the different standards that I want to use. So in this case, this is design. And the line description here is problem solving. So in addition to that, I might go, yeah, I want to add another rubric line. And for this, again, for this particular um, subject, I wanted to add uh, one of the other assessment pointers. Uh, and I want to add collaboration and managing in this case because that's the nature of this problem solving task. These kids have to work together. So, same thing. So, I could go and say my A grade C structure in there, so on and so on. So, say I've decided I've changed my mind, I don't want to add that line there. It's okay. There's my one line rubric. But in addition to that, I could also, instead of 
adding that line criteria of collaborating there, I could add it here. So I could go rubric and then go, oh, because I want to give this a different weighting or I want to say that somewhere different, I can split it up again this way. So you potentially can end up with rubrics in different places because say this is not, this one here is a, pra um, a design type or a written type task and this one here maybe is um, a practical type task. So and I can attach the rubrics from that. Um, once you've done that, save it. Uh, so now when you go and market, the rubric will appear.